The demilitarized zone must be fully secured and the MS or Microsoft SQL clusters must have encrypted and verified backups and restores. Uh, which recommendation would meet the customer's technical requirements? Hmm. Well, um, let's go in and, and take a look here. So that there's a lot of technical requirements, um, but for now, let, let us take a look just based on here, right? It's, it says they must be encrypted and they, they must be verified. Uh, so let's go up here. Recommend a managed domain domain and install a Linux immutable repository in the demilitarized zone to ensure backups and restores can be verified and encrypted. I, I don't really see why this, this should be necessary. First of all, um, it, it, like the, the placement doesn't really have anything to do with that. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to say that that sounds like a distractor. Uh, use a Windows workgroup non-domain account in the demilitarized zone with a Veeam generic database backup agent and use firewall rules to allow only needed ports for communication. Well, there is there is a no Veeam generic database backup agent, right? This, this does not exist. So for that reason, I'm going to say option two is a distractor. Uh, let's see, option three, create a firewall control backup network, use separate Windows workgroup non-domain accounts Enable Veeam data encryption and use third-party multi-factor authentication tools to address the requirements. Okay. Let's see, we had we had two items here, right? One was encrypted and verified. Um, well, it, it's it's better than the first two at least. Let's 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 leave it there for now and, and we'll, we'll we'll see. Uh, leverage Veeam backend replication and native Veeam backend replication multi-factor authentication with a Windows workgroup environment. Create multiple security groups in Veeam backend replication and ensure groups assigned to the IP addresses of the backup network and the Veeam global network traffic rules. So uh, this sounds good, but the problem is that Veeam does not have multi-factor authentication. Um, natively it says native here right that that that's not a thing this does not exist so for that reason option four is going to be wrong uh, option two is wrong because we we don't have this generic database agent and the um while, while it's good to have a, a management domain here we we actually uh, we don't really need that for the linux immutable repository anyway and um we, we don't need that to make sure that they can be verified or encrypted right that's that's just a repository so it, it doesn't really do anything and so i'm, I'm gonna go with uh, option number three in this case here 